Recording. All the kicks we've been talking about are caused by contraction of your muscle and tendon group to get the movement pattern. What we also need to do after training is stretch. Take the tension out of the muscles. It helps make sure that you're not sore tomorrow, improves your flexibility, and allows you to improve as you advance through the training. So I'm going to show you four basic stretches that help stretch this part, your core complex, and get that tension that you've generated from the variety of kicks that we've done. Now the first one is going what we call in class the lower back crack. You're going to lie back, put your hands here, put your knees up, and let them roll to one side. The key here is first always keep this hand down. You're going to, as you get more flexibility, be able to extend this leg out. If you want to dial in the stretch, you can come here and pull. And the stretch will come through your IT band, the outside of your hip, and then through your lower back. The key is to hold the stretches for 30 seconds and longer. Go to the other side, slowly, rotate, move around. Get a nice stretch all through the outside part of your core. Now, another one is you're going to lie across, using this part of your body, your sternum, across your thigh. Line up this way, and you start by doing this. Now as you build more flexibility, you'll be able to drop down and focus on relaxing your body into your upper leg. Just relax and breathe naturally. And of course you just switch out. Starting position would be here, and as you build more flexibility, another stretch is what I call the V-sit. It's a great way to stretch your hamstrings and your glutes and your lower back. Always have a little bend in your knee, and you can start this way because you're going to have to build that flexibility over time. And as you get more flexible, you can bring your elbows down. Another way you can do this is just grab your heels. Just relax. Again, stretches of 30 seconds and longer we're going to be able to improve your flexibility. Anything under 30 seconds, the further below 30 seconds, the less you're going to build memory in that muscle. Final stretch is called in yoga, a child pose. Excellent way to stretch your shins, to get a general stretch in your hips, and an excellent stretch for your lower back. Sit back, spread your knees. You want to be able to drop your torso down, and you just Relax. Breathe deeply right into your diaphragm. And those are four basic stretches. They're also good after you've done weight training after you've done basketball, after you've been out running, after you've been hiking Stone Mountain. It's a great way to loosen up your core muscles, relax them, so they can function better the next day.